Hello. This is a review of the first line of Amazing Grace. And the video before this covers the first bar, including the pickup notes of Amazing Grace. This will just cover the first line. So you'll want to go ahead and look at the video of the first bar if you need help with that before starting. But we'll get right into it. The first line is um, sounds like this. We'll give you a preview of what we're going to do. <laughs> that stops there on the B. The next note would be a low A, but that's the second line. So we'll just go ahead and wait for that. Um, so what you want to be aware of is there are two embellishments on this first line that you need to be able to do. One is the D strike. Sounds like this. The other one is the D throw, which sounds like this. Like that. So we're going to go over that a little bit in the tune, but you're expected to be familiar with those two embellishments before you do this lesson. So let's go ahead and start with the first bar, including the pickup notes. This should be a review if you've done the previous video. We're going to get our fingers in the low A position, being mindful of not playing too far on these knuckles, right? Somewhere, somewhere in here. Um, as young people grow, obviously your hands change size and you need to kind of keep up with this and, and um, not be um, lured into playing so far down here from old habits, from when your hands were smaller. So that's why I keep reminding of that. Okay, so we have our hands here. We're in the low A position because the tune starts on low A. We're gonna do a low A sound check. Making sure that's nice and solid. And we're gonna do the first bar, which includes the pickup notes. So we're going to have our high G finger in position, ready to make that grace note. Here we go. One, two. Okay, that's the first bar. When you're playing that, you want to be listening for clarity of all your notes, right? You want to listen for a distinct sound in within the strike, the D strike. So let's take a look at that D strike a little more closely. You can see that the D strike comes from a D, a previously played D. In this case, it's the D at the um, second note of the two pickup notes. And we're already on that D. And then the grace notes show us in the strike to play a G grace note on D and a C grace note on D. We want that to sound clear, almost like ringing a bell, like ding, ding, Da da, like that. So when we play the strike, we're listening for a separation between the two Ds. Sometimes what happens is you can accidentally or unintentionally crush the strike and you go like that. And you don't really hear the first D inside that strike. We want to hear it. Like that. Okay. So that's something to be listening for when you're practicing it. The second bar has an F with a G grace note on it. But if you look at the note before it, you're coming from a D. Okay, that's the end of that triplet at the end of the first bar. So we want to practice going from D to F, but with a G grace note in between. So that looks like this. If you play bar one correctly, You've already done this. You've already played a D and then a G grace note to F. So that transition should not be new. So now we've played the F at the beginning of bar two and the music shows us that there's a, another G grace note on F. But we're already on F. So all that sounds like is this. Right, we're already on F. We lift our G grace note finger and bring it down. That gets you to the second F. So the first two notes of bar two are Then the last note in bar two is an E, coming from F. So F to E is So let's put together bar two, coming from the last note of bar one. So get your fingers in the D position, because that's the last note of bar one. We'll do a G grace note up to F, another G grace note on F, and an E. Ready? D position.
Okay, again. One, two. Again. One, two. So you're ending on E. That's the last note of bar two. The next note after that is a D throw. The D throw is coming from the E that you're on at the end of bar two. So let's practice this. Let's practice a D throw coming from E. What's the first note of a D throw? It's a low G grace note, right? So we're gonna go from the E, which is the melody note before, to that low G in the D throw, and then finish the throw. It'll sound like this. Okay, let's go ahead and try it. The, um, the transition from E to D throw in the music with timing. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay, feel free to pause the video and practice that on your own. We're gonna go to the last note of line one, which is, what is it? It's a G grace note to B. We're on the D at the end of the D throw. We're gonna do a G grace note to B, all right? So that looks like this. We're gonna do a D throw, G grace note to B. One, two. See that G grace note to B? Let's break that down just to make sure we're on the D at the end of the D throw. That's slow motion, right? D, B. So let's do it again. Lift in the, the, the high G finger while those D fingers are still up, right? And then dropping the G grace note finger and those these fingers here to make the B all at the same time. All right, let's go ahead and put line one together. It's only three bars, ready? From the beginning, low A position, G grace note finger in the air, ready for the pickup notes. One, two. It kind of leaves you hanging, doesn't it? Because we're not playing the next bar. So just for fun, let's go ahead and play the next bar, right? We're gonna play the next bar. It's the bar four. All right, what is it? The music shows us that it's a low G grace note to A. So we're on the B, we play a low G grace note to A. So it's And then those are the pickup notes for the, the next line. So we're gonna play to that low A. Let's do the whole first line and the low A. Ready? One, two. That B to the low G grace note on low A might take some work. Have fun.